Hello and welcome back to the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Continuing our adventure with, I think now, yeah, it's the fourth adventurer that I've taken into this labyrinthian, dangerous, perilous nightmare of a place where pretty much everything wants to kill you. Yeah, Kriya Datura, who is from Kazan. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she's pretty cool. I like this character with her bow attacks and also her keen eye. So I think I'm gonna go for the north opening here, which looks interesting and potentially dangerous. Leaving the rat's room, you find yourself in a room hewn... Oh no, what, what? Ah, a rough hewn antechamber. It appears to be some kind of experiment lab. Tables with assorted vials, flasks, books, and other wizarding paraphernalia litter the room. Wizarding paraphernalia, eh? But what catches your attention is a horrid mess near the middle of the room. An acrid smell catches in your nostrils, and you see a pool of oozing, grotesque goo. Thin wisps of vapour rise from the noxious smelling substance. I feel like some monster is going to rise up out of that. A chalk outline appears to have been hastily scribbled around the pool, and seems to be acting as a magical barrier between the ooze and the rest of the room. It seems that the goo is a result of some kind of accident, and whoever was here has hastily tried to contain it. Uh, do I examine it, or do I leave? I feel like I think that's where this, these game books and where this game always gets me, because I'm curious. But usually, my curiosity is punished. Uh, it's just going to be a monster, isn't it? A monster in the goo. Uh, do I look? Do I look or not? Mm, how's my stamina looking? 12 out of 18. I'm... No, I think that's going to be just bad. Let's leave it. I'm going to be, be good and not be curious for once. Okay, you pass through an old mine shaft with a wooden beam supporting the roof. Oh, this is kind of new. Didn't go in a mine shaft area before. Oh wow. The mine shaft opens up into a wide cavern which is effectively a crossroads. The waste north and west are high and wide clefts through the rock. The way to the east is much narrower with a lower ceiling. The east is narrow, and west, shall I try north? I see a dog or something over there. Uh, northwards? Or eastwards? Or west? Let's try west. Oh! What is this? As you travel westwards, you are surprised to see light at the end of the tunnel. Before long, you find yourself standing in a cave mouth a third of the way up the mountain. Before you is a treacherous cliff face. The protruding overhangs and rocky projections might make it possible for a giant to scale the mountainside, but it would be a much greater challenge for anyone of a more diminutive stature. Enjoy the view. Take a picturesque view a picturesque view of Valencia. Cool. The view is incredible, however. The waters of the Red River sparkle in the sunlight, and you can even make out wisps of smoke rising from the dwarf settlement of Stonebridge, several leagues away to the west. More luck, but okay. Ah, and a rest point. Very good. Wooden benches nearby, allowing you to sit for a spell and enjoy the verdant plains of Atlantia. Uh, consume provision, so I get five. No, I think I'm. 
good to sit and rest for a moment. It's good to take a break. Yes, it is. Cool. Turn to the junction. Uh, yeah, look at the view. It's kind of a shame, again, the, the fact that you can't look at the pages, cover that up. I couldn't sort of take in that view myself. Just a bit of a shame. Shall I go the eastern path? Oh, there is only the eastern path. I can't do anything else. That's weird. Remove the option of the northern path. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Anyway, you reach some stone steps that rise upwards and you begin climbing. A collection of stalactites hang from the ceiling and by the light of your lantern you see that the rocky projections are strung with thick spider webs. There's going to be more spiders. As you reach a landing, you eye movement above you. Looking up in horror, you see several large red spiders starting to descend towards you, letting themselves down on strong silken threads. Okay. More spiders it is. Okay, there's only two of them, which is good. So I'm going to... So he wobbled, so I think I can attack. Okay, he wobbled again. Nice. Can I move here? Do near shot. Done. Very good. I really like this character's bow attacks. I like the way she fights. Aha. With the spiders all dead, you continue to climb the steps. You reach what appears to be a dead end, and feeling around in the darkness, you can make out the shape of a large lever set into the rock wall. As you trace your fingers across the wall, your keen eye notices faint shafts of light filtering through the rock. It looks as though there is a secret door here. Aha! Behind you, down the steps, you can hear the sound of movement. It sounds like more firetop spiders. With nowhere else to go, what will you do? Pull the lever. The lever feels stiff, and you need to apply all of your strength to pull it down. In the distance, you hear the clunking sounds of an unseen mechanism, and the rock that previously blocked your passage slides away, revealing a cave beyond. You can hear the rushing of water in the distance, and the air feels damp. You're feeling that you are moving into a new section of the mountain. Okay. It always seems to lead to the cave, doesn't it? The cave with the, the river, one way or another. And that usually leads to the realm of the dead. The cave opens up into a chamber. After a moment, you hear the unseen mechanism again, and the rock wall slides back into place. The chamber is covered in sand, and there are two possible ways out here. One leading to what seems to be a cave to the southwest, and the passageway widening to the northeast. Uh, okay. Shall I look at the cave? Let's look at the cave. You enter, oh dear. You enter the small dry cave. The floor is covered with sand and the walls are thick with cobwebs. Two fire top spiders skitter down from the wall and approach, ready to attack. Okay. Curiosity got me again. Okay, similar fight to before. Pretty much the same setup. So, can I do a, do a volley? Yes. Okay, now we should be able to take him out. Very good. Oh. Nice. Very good. I'm really liking how she fights. You finish off the fire top spiders and they collapse to the ground with horrific sheep shriek. Their legs curl up and they finally lie still. The only thing within the firetop spider's nest of interest is a rather sinister looking niche covered in thick webbing. Well, I may as well have a look. You approach the small niche and begin to enter. 
the sticky webbing starts to cling to you as soon as you touch it. Slowly and awkwardly, you wander deeper into the cave. Fade, oh no. Failing to notice the shining eyes behind you. There's a small brief sting, oh no. And you drift off into a dreamless sleep. Waking up, you discover you have been wrapped in a cocoon. Struggling to free yourself, you discover you are unable to move. As you attempt to move your head, you see the corpse of another unfortunate adventure. You are filled with nauseous feeling of dread. Without warning, the body bursts open and thousands of small spiders swarm out, heading straight towards their latest meal. All you can do is scream in agony as they begin to feed on you. Soon, you cannot even do that as they fill your mouth. Oh boy. Your last memory is of spiders feeding on you and the burning pain of a thousand bites. Oh man, that was a nasty way to go. Why did I look in that cave? Ah, never mind. Resurrected. <laughs> How to kill off your adventurers. Wow, that was a really nasty death. I think that was one of the nastier ones. I think, I think that's been the first death where it's just through a choice and there's no battle. Yeah, I think that is because that happens quite a lot in the the fighting fantasy books. You'll make a choice and like, no, nope, you're dead. You're done. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So where was I? Oh, when I was looking at the view. Okay. Okay, cool. So just doing this bit again. Oh, I've got to fight the spiders again. Somehow repeating these fights can get a little bit tiresome. Because I just don't like repeated things, to be honest. Okay, they're both on the attack. Is he... Yeah, he's on the attack. He's going to move, I think. But, at least with these fights, they're pretty quick. Not like the bats. The bats are really annoying. Now I pull the lever. Yeah, luckily, I didn't have far... Yeah, I wasn't that far back. So this time, I'm going to go through and completely ignore that cave. Because nothing good is in that. Simply a trap for adventurers to go in. Uh, yeah, head northeast. Okay, yeah, back at this point again. Ah, cool, I can rest again. Ah, as you are looking at the underground river, your keen eye notices some subtle movement underneath the sand. Perhaps it was just the wind, but you don't feel a draft. Ah. Oh, so if I... Don't sit on the bench, because if I think if this bit I get attacked by those sandworms, but if I don't sit on the bench, do they not attack? I feel well, but I feel I need to sit on the bench for the checkpoint, don't I? And also to get my stamina up. Yeah, you notice the movement. Yeah, there they are, the worms. The spice, the worms. Well, yeah, these. Yeah, oh yeah, I was not able to kill these before. Was I? Is um, Aaron? Is that Aaron that got killed by these? If I can paralyze him, at least do a near shot. Come on, yeah. Okay, he's definitely going to go for an attack. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. I think he might be moving. So... Can I attack here? Nice! I took him out. I wonder if he's going to move now. Hmm, hmm. I do crippling volley. Okay. 
Wow. Okay, so that went very differently to Aaron. So pretty much I seem to be doing a lot better in the fights as this character. There appear to be two ways you can go from here. You can either try to cross the river using the irregularly spaced rocks and stepping stones, or you can jump into the river and continue on your way by swimming downstream, which will it be? Let's try the stepping stones. The stones are slippery and uneven and barely break the surface of the river. You carefully step onto them. Test the skill. Okay, let's try and get something good. Low numbers, please. You need to score a 10 or under. I got nine. Nice. I made it across. You give a sigh of relief as you set foot on the opposite bank, but you're not the first to set foot here. You make out several sets of footprints on the sandy shore heading towards a wide tunnel opening in the rock wall in front of you. Now let's uh, follow the footsteps. The tunnel leads into a small cave with dry sandy floor, but what you see there causes you to come to an abrupt halt in surprise. A hole has been dug in the sand and a small chest half pulled from it. However, lying next to the chest is the body of a dwarf. There appear to be signs of movement near the hole, not from the body of the dwarf or the small chest, but something larger. However, your keen eye cannot notice anything. There are crude tools covered in blood, iron restraints, and assorted other implements strewn about the cave, giving the impression of a primitive jail, out of view from prying eyes. Judging by the blood soaked, soaking the sand, and the obvious wounds the dwarf has suffered, you assume that he is dead, but who killed him? Let's investigate. What do you want to do first? Search the dwarf's body, open the chest, Search the dwarf's body. The dwarf is definitely dead and his body already looted. What do you want to do now? Let's see what else might be hidden. Leaning into the hole, using only your hands to dig with it, you begin to scoop more sand from the pit. It is not long before you feel something hard under the sand, and shifting another handful, you discover a second chest that had been buried under the first. Prizing the chest open, you are delighted to find a purse brimming with gold pieces and a potion of strength. Nice. Wow, 20 gold pieces. You're not going to do better than a bag of gold and a magic potion. <laughs> and one luck. Nice. You decide to leave the cave. Oh, so I bet the top chest was like a decoy chest. Halfway along the tunnel, you are surprised to see two scrawny creatures walking towards you from the other end. One of them appears to be the leader, the two similar, with similar torturous implements on its belt. It is now quite clear what has happened to the dwarf. Ah, the leader points at you, shouting at the other goblin. Thief, kill, kill! They immediately draw their short swords and prepare to fight. Okay, I am going to use... So what happens if I use Potion of Strength? Does that improve my skill? Or my stamina. I suppose I can try it when I've exhausted all my provisions, I suppose. Okay, what is that? Two of them? Yeah. Okay. So let's keep my distance. Oh, the blood keeps... Uh, seeping out. Oh, I missed. Mm. Okay. Nice. Can I get him? Oh, no, I can't. Yep, they're both definitely going for me. Oh, 
Is that enough? Yes, it is. Can I do... Uh, no. Oh, I can do cooking volley, maybe? No. Okay. Take that. And party. Yes. Oh, I've got 247 souls. I'm doing well. And I lost no stamina. That is what I like to see. You suspect the goblins were responsible for the death of the dwarf. Your suspicions are heightened when you find a full pass in their possession. Plus seven gold. Wow. Can't help wondering who the dwarf was and what he was doing in the cave. Yeah, indeed. With no ass to go, you take a deep breath against the cold and jump into the fast flowing stream. So I think, so I've got 60 gold now. That is pretty good. Downstream I go. So I wonder, yeah, I'm back here. Okay, back at the, ouch, it's cold. Okay, yeah, so three choices. The only one I haven't tried, I really don't want to get in that water again, is doing the raft, I think. And the bridge is risky. So I think always ring the bell and just pay the three gold. Oh, I can use a sleep bomb. Now I'm not going to waste the sleep bomb. So it's only three gold and I just got, I've got 60 gold now. So is it worth, so definitely, yeah, all of this. Definitely I want to go and see Oriana again because she is very, very helpful. And I should be able to buy a bunch of nice stuff from her. Welcome, Kriya Datura. Yeah, Mariana. Uh, I always ask about this just because I feel like my character needs to know this stuff, but I'm not sure if it does make a difference if I don't ask about this. So. What have I got? I've got 57 gold. So essentially I can buy... Well, provisions are always good. Wait a second, I've got this... Yeah, I have to have the page position there, otherwise it won't let me select. Provisions are always useful. Fire protection? Have I already got an invisibility potion? I have, but I guess to have two? But it doesn't give me very many opportunities to use it. So strength must be related to stamina. It must be. So I feel like that is the most useful. So I get one of them. Can I sell anything to her? Uh, no, just... Uh, yeah, essentially just... Okay. I think that is and that is enough, isn't it? Bid her farewell. Okay, I think I am in good good condition. I feel. Mm. Was there anything of worth in the shack? There's just the dog and the skeletons. No, I'm just going to head to the structure, because the skeletons didn't really do much, and... Shall I try the tower again, or will that... Hmm, because wait, let me double check. So I've been given the chalice. Yeah, so I need to definitely go up, because I think the tower, if... Whatever character is able to resist the effects it has, it kind of, it's like a shortcut to the very top bit, which leads to the maze. And I sort of suspect the maze might be the final section of the game, I'm not sure. Because everything, all paths seem to lead here. But for 
what's her name again? <laughs> Crea no, Crea's, for Crea's mission, she wants to get the chalice, so do something with the chalice, so I think I need to find, I need to find a mirror, I think that's what it said, a mirror, the creature in the mirror, and do something with the chalice. Not gold, but bats. Here they come. Yeah, those vicious bats once again. Not really so happy about fighting them again. Okay, that he wobbles, so I think he's attacking. I think he's gonna move, isn't he? No, he's not. Get out of the way. Get out of the way again. Crippling volley. Okay, let's take him out. That is a very useful move. Can I do another crippling volley? No, I cannot. Can't do a near shot. Hmm. I can shoot from here. Nice. Okay, I really like this character a lot. She is doing so well in these fights. Oh, that is just enough. Okay. Very good. Very good. I definitely recommend this character of Kreia. Nice. Oh, so here... What was it I found? Oh, I can search in the graveyard and maybe find something. Let's see if I can be lucky. Yes! What do I find? Potion of Strength. So that means I have a Sleep Bomb. Yeah, I've still got the Sleep Bombs, Potion of Invisibility. I've got three Potions of Strength. I'm sure they must be for Stamina. I'm looking quite good. I'm, I'm feeling good about where I'm at. Oh no! I forgot to sit on the bench again. No! Oh no! I can't believe I've done that. Okay, well, let's hope I do okay. Let's hope I'm in as good shape as I feel I am. So fighting these ghosts is definitely tough. But I'm nearly on full health, so... Okay, so he wobbled. Oh, good, good. So he wobbled again. I've really got to keep an eye out for these wobbles. Mm. Let's see if I can do crippling volley. Are they immune? I don't like that. How much damage can I do from there? Hmm. Not a lot. Hmm. Okay, I've only got 15. Come on. No! This is uh, maybe going a little bit badly. Cooking volley. Is it going to do anything? Well, it does damage, at least. 
This it does damage, but it doesn't paralyze. Okay, at least one is done. He's gonna attack. Come on. Mm. Not so good. Uh, he is gonna move. Worth trying a near shot. No, that was wasted. Can I take him out? Okay. Damn it, I might well regret not sitting on that bench. Yeah, my attacks from the front are not good. Come on. Okay, there is just two of them. Come on! I, it's kind of annoying I can't take any health things. When in the fight. Oh, damn it! God damn it! That is so frustrating. Um, yeah, I want to be resurrected. And let's see where. And I'm really annoyed at myself for not saving, for skipping past the bench once again at the beginning of this section because that is definitely the right place that I need to save. Where will I end up? Where is it taking me? Okay. Oh, it's fighting the sandworms. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this bit again and then you can rejoin me when I reach the other side, so as not to be repeating once more. See you soon. Okay, so here I am back. I have just sat on the bench and eaten some provisions and gained 10 stamina, because I lost a bit of stamina on my way over here. Not much if it was more than when I originally was coming here, but anyway, let's see if I can be lucky again exploring the graveyard and get another potion of strength. No, bugger. Never mind. I'm not is in quite good shape as I was last time I got here, but hey ho, at least I'm on full health, which I think maybe I wasn't. So let's fight the ghosts again. And these guys are definitely tough. Let's hope I can beat them. Can I? I can at least do some damage with the crippling volley. Ah, but I need to recharge that. Mm hmm. I keep my distance as much as I can. Maybe take this guy out. Mm. Not good. Okay, weakened. Come on. Wow, I am really not doing much damage. Why am I doing so little damage? This is kind of troubling. I'm gonna get out. Oh, they keep going for me. Can I at least... Man, they are just immune to everything. This is not on. Come on, get a high score. I keep scoring too low. What is going on with these ghosts? They are just too tough. This is what I mean about some of the boss battles in the game. They really don't feel like bosses. It's these kind of ones that feel more brutal. And unfortunately with it being with dice rolls, 
ultimately it's always going to be about luck and just the dice you get and there's often not much you can really do about it. Come on, get me some... Oh, that's going to be something better. And I'm overcome. Yes, be resurrected. At least I am nearby. And yeah, I'll be coming at them with full health. I can see if I could be lucky in the graveyard again. And yeah, I mean, if I can't seem to get past all of these fights, I feel like I've done best with this character. I think I may... Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about trying the free read mode, which I'm sure will either make things easier. It'd be cool if it just made things a little, it made the battles a little easier rather than, because it did say something about cheaters. It might just mean you don't even have to fight at all. Can I be lucky? Aha! Yeah, nice. I got the potion of strength this time. Okay. So, let's see if I can get the ghost this time. I don't really know what is my best approach. I'm going to take a different view, see if I can, it will help me think differently about this. I mean, keeping a distance seems to be a good thing, but... Okay, so that did a nice bit of damage. I move there. Good. I can't use Crippling Volley yet. He's going to attack, isn't he? And that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? That's what's frustrating me a little bit. Some of these attacks are doing absolutely nothing sometimes. I do not understand it. I mean, that's 11. That's a good score. Okay, that time it did do something. Uh, maybe I can do a crippling volley, or perhaps I should move. Okay, maybe that was a good idea to move. Oh no, that was not such a good idea. Move down. No. I can attack him. Hopefully. Okay. Not good. Okay, we got a wobble. He's coming in for the attack. That was a definite wobble. So sometimes they wobble when they're going to attack. Sometimes they wobble when they're going to move. Even that itself is unpredictable. Is that just me? Okay, finally. Maybe... Maybe I can survive this. Just maybe. He's facing me. Come on. Okay. Chicken volley. Maybe I can do it. Whew. Okay. I made it. I lost eight stamina though and gained 20 souls. Which I guess is good. Okay. The fact the spirit knows my name and where I come from is not encouraging me to enter. 
we are the Torah of the Steps of Kazan. Pretty cool. So, yeah, so this, enter the domain of the dead. So can I, let's see what the Potion of Strength does. Yeah, it gave me 18 stamina. mana. Nice. Very good. Whew. Okay, so climb the ladder or go right or go left. I think before I have not gone right. No, this is new. You enter in a sinister chamber. The room is dank and dreary and a number of coffins, some sealed, are lined up against the wall of the room. You hear a ghostly whisper in the air. We will decide if you are worthy of our aid, adventurer. Experience the ordeal of fate. Okay. There is a rumbling of the ground beneath your feet, and suddenly one... Suddenly one... A coffin. That doesn't make sense. Suddenly one of... One, a coffin lid opens, reveal, re revealing gold and jewels shining and sparkling in front of your very eyes. I kind of broke my brain a bit, that sense, and suddenly won a coffin. Anyway, test my luck. Maybe the true test was in the text. Lucky. Just, you stand your ground. Standing still, you concentrate. The temptation is overwhelming. All of those riches right there for the taking. But deep down inside, you know that none of this is real. This must all be a test. You fight with all of your will and refuse to step closer. Again, the ghostly voice speaks. Well done, adventurer. You shall be rewarded for your strength of will. Okay. Luck restored. Feeling confident, you head for... You head for spiral. It should be the spiral staircase. That's weird. I've, I've noticed almost no errors in the text in this game, but there's been a few more recently. Okay, so we're on the other side of this whole area. Reaching the top of the spiral staircase, you enter a large room. Various bits of wooden debris are strewn untidily across the floor. A prominent set of steps leads upwards at the rear of the room, while there is another door on your left. The room is deathly silent, and neither exit provide clues on where you should go next. Hmm. In one corner is a crude wooden desk with a box on it. Nearby is a wooden bench suitable for resting. In front of the steps lies a hideous-looking man-sized creature with warty skin, wild hair, and long claws. For fingernails, your keen eye notices that there appears to be occasional movement from the body, but you can't be sure whether it is breathing or a corpse's involuntary twitch. Mm. Tiptoe past the creature on the left door, step over the creature and climb the stairs. So I don't actually need a rest to the desk. Maybe investigate the desk. As you move, the creature's eyes flash open. It sees you and gets to its feet. Its breathing becomes heavy and it stalks towards you. You must stand and fight. You face a powerful adversary, a white. This creature is large, strong and evil. Huh. Oh. What about, shall I try a sleep bomb? Let's try that. Looking on your bag for a sleep bomb, you fail to notice that the white is much quicker than you suspected. By the time you look up again, it is almost on top of you. Oh. In desperation, you reach for your weapon, but there is no time. The white pins you to the ground, and its sunken eyes glint in the dim light. What? No. The white begins to feast. And for you, this adventure is over. Seriously? Man, this game is too harsh sometimes. And I'm done. I'm done. No. 
I am truly done. Okay, so yeah, I need to think about how I'm going to approach this. So how how much have I unlocked in the art gallery? So pretty much all of it. Well, no, there's still quite a few bits missing. Man, this is tough. This is very tough. Um, yeah, quite a few achievements done. But still quite a few to go. Wow. So it seems like I feel like I've found most of the sections of the game. But uh, I guess I just haven't discovered certain rooms or certain things. Hmm. But anyway, I'm going to rethink how how to approach this. Do I go in as another character? But yeah, I think I'll go in as another character because that's kind of fun to play as the different characters. But and that actually makes it more interesting replaying. It's kept it well. It's kept it interesting for me. I hope it's been interesting for you watching. But I'm wondering if I try the free read mode in the hope that it's kind of an easy mode, maybe, with some of the combat, or maybe it gives you the choice if you want to fight, or maybe you can still do the fights, but I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how it works, and yeah, <laughs> but for now, that is it. I will definitely continue because I'm determined to get one of my adventures to the end and, you know, face off against the titular warlock. But I will do that in the next part, which will be part 13. Hopefully not unlucky number 13. Perhaps it could be the inverse and become lucky for me. Anyway, we shall see. I hope you join me then. In the meantime, take care and goodbye for now.